Hello, I'm Darby McDevitt, narrative director of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and this is an introduction to Norse mythology. Assassin's Creed Valhalla takes place in an era that marks the gradual transition from the pagan religions of old Europe to modern Christianity. In England, where most of our story is set, the Christian faith has recently gained a firm foothold, but there are still many pagan religions flourishing. Most notable of these is the pantheon of gods worshipped by the Norse people who lived in the regions we now call Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. This eclectic collection of gods includes such figures as Odin, the All-Father and King of all gods, Freya, the goddess of love and battle, and Loki, the obstinate trickster. For all the Norse characters in our story, including our protagonist Eivor, these gods and the stories about them constitute a living religion. They offer comfort and wisdom to the men and women who take them seriously. But these were not gods who offered revelation or promised salvation. Similar to the Greco-Roman gods, the Norse gods were not paragons of virtue, nor were they beings to which anyone should aspire, for they were as changeable as the seasons and as unpredictable as the weather. In the Norse conception of reality, the world was broken up into nine realms, with Asgard being the home of the most important gods. Accessed by a bridge of light known as the Bifrost, Asgard was the site of Odin's hall of slain champions called Valhall, or Valhalla. This was the final resting place of all warriors who died bravely in battle, weapon in hand, and whose reward it was to remain at Odin's side, drinking and warring until the coming of Ragnarok, the battle at the end of time. As one might expect from a people who valued courage and honor, the Norse approached their gods somewhat bluntly. They did not pray to them asking for redemption, they bargained with them, making sacrifices for a stroke of good fortune. Where virtue and sin and redemption are hallmarks of the Christian faith, for the Norse sensibility, ideas like honor and reputation held much greater sway. But this does not mean that the Norse religion lacked notions of goodness or ethics. Through sources like the Poetic Edda, we can find, amid tales of debauchery, deceit, and cruelty, passages of great beauty and common sense. In a poem called the Havamal, ostensibly written by Odin himself, we find this verse. The unwise man lies awake all night, pondering everything over and over, and when morning comes, his mind is weary, and his burdens have not yet lifted. Wise words from the Allfather, so do as he says and stop your worrying. Get a good night's sleep and rise refreshed, for the gates to Valhalla will soon be open.